An embezzlement and corruption erodes society's foundation, leading to increased poverty, unemployment and inequality. Acting Chairman of the Code of Conduct Bureau, CCB, Barrister Muritala Kenkia, made the statement at the TSC 24 in Lagos. Lovi Koko Yedoko tells us more. Day 2 of the National Anti-Corruption Colloquium, TAGS 24, featured insightful lectures and papers from experts in the field fostering discussions on combating corruption in Nigeria. Acting Chairman of the Code of Conduct Bureau, Barista Mutala Aliyu expressed concerns about declining public morality and widespread unethical practices in the public sector. He stressed the urgency of addressing the issue to promote the country's development and restore trust between the government and the citizens. Through our meticulous administration of asset declaration, stringent verification process, robust enforcement of the code of conduct, successful prosecution and extensive training and awareness initiative will uphold the values and the principles that define ethical conduct. Let us all embrace a strong will to implement anti-corruption measures in the public sector and work together to cultivate a culture of integrity and moral rectitude within our beloved nation. Chairman of ICPC, Dr. Musa Aliyu stressed the need for a reporting mechanism in the public sector. This is said to promote accountability, integrity, and trust. This was to close a claim critical role in ICPC. Within the four months I became the chairman, there are people that come forward and made some revelations that are so damning. In fact, some of them are shocking. And when we follow up, we discover that the information they supplied are correct. In their respective submissions, the panels of discussants emphasized that effectively combating corruption necessitates the collective involvement of every Nigerian. We all left our homes. We are seated here to fight corruption. But in truth, if our action does not reflect it, we cannot fight corruption. Let's go back to the schools. What are the children learning? There are miracle centers for Wayek. What do you do? You go to pay for your child so that somebody will write Wayek for him. And you expect him to come back and be a medical doctor that will save your life tomorrow. It's not possible. I think we should work more on our institutions. Strengthening the institutions, strengthening our policies, and making sure the public goods that everyone partakes in. Governments of old, you will hear that somebody stole 10 million, 2 million, 1 million, 5 million. It increased to 100 million, 200 million. Today, is 150 billion, one person. Chairman of the House Committee on Anti-Corruption, Kayode Akiolu, praised the creation of anti-corruption units in federal ministries, but noted that they are not functioning effectively. Love Ikuku Oyedoku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.